Earlier this year, we sat down with the one, the only Brooks Marks we are sharing today. Are you guys loving this season of RHOSLC? I think it is such a return to form season. I know you guys have a lot of mixed opinions on Miss Mary Cosby. I'm loving Mary. You guys know this. But listen, we are going to take a trip down memory lane of RHOSLC today. This is a prior, never before aired chat. Never before aired. We talk about Jen Shaw. So we're just sharing this chat. It's like, you know, the holidays. We're kind of going into the vault lately with some of these chats, which kind of never saw the light of day. We're sharing this here today. Our chat of all things RHOSC with the one, the only Brooks Marks. Happy holidays. Everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let's just get right into it today because we are joined by the one, the only Brooks Marks. Hi, thank you for having me. How are you? Welcome back. How are you? What's going on? I'm great. I'm so excited to be back on your podcast. Thank you for having me again. Oh my God. Thank you for being back. I would ask you where you are, but I see the New York buildings in the background. So you are in New York. Yes. Well, congratulations. You've graduated from NYU since the last time we spoke. I have. Yeah. I finally made it out. Do you feel different now that you're a college graduate? I feel like Honestly, not that different, aside from the fact that I just graduated college, like all throughout school, I was working on my brand, you know, hustling to um, build it and whatnot. And so now that I'm done with school, it's just 100% focused on that. Well, listen, you've got some other things going on too, like congratulations on growing up reality with Brooks Marks, which is streaming on Yahoo's In The Know platform. So congratulations. Thank you. It kind of just came out of nowhere. No one really knew it was coming. And then we just dropped it this week. I saw that and I'm like, okay, wait a second. Am I seeing, like, am I seeing things? And I'm like, okay, I I, I need to get Brooks back on here to discuss all of this. So listen, I want to talk all about that. But before we get there, you know, when you look back over the past three years, you know, like, it's hard to imagine, like, you know, we're only on our third season of Salt Lake Housewives, like, you, your mom, Meredith, like you've only been in our lives for three years. Like it feels, feels like we've known you forever. I mean, does it yeah. seem like forever to you? Um, honestly, no, it's all been going by so fast. It's crazy to think that like we did, I was on your podcast, what, not last year, but the year before, like two years ago, right? Yeah, Meredith was on last year alone. And then you guys were on together the year before. So you were on like during season one. Yeah. I mean, to me, that literally feels like yesterday. Like, it's crazy how fast time is going by. Um, But yeah. Crazy. And then, I mean, I saw you at that baseball game and I think I saw you one night in the Hamptons, but it was at, it was out and it was a really crowded restaurant. And I think it was you. Oh, at Almond, maybe? Yeah, it was at Almond. I, yeah. and, I, and I was going to say hi, but I was like, I physically, like, by the, I can't. <laughs> They need to put like a max occupancy on that place. I don't know how they fit as many people in there as they do. It's crazy. I was there one night. I think it was like over 4th of July. We're like, because I've been out here like full time, like for the summer. We're like, they they came to shut it down. And the guy was like, just like, Eric was just like, I'm just going to pay you like the fine. Like, I'm not shutting this down. Like, I'm going to make more money by keeping this open. Like, I don't know what the fine was, but they were like arguing. He's like, I here's the money. Just go away. Yeah, I mean, it's so fun there. Like, I remember, I don't think people dance on the tables there anymore, but everyone used to get up on the bar and dance. And like, it was such a vibe. I, mean, I was I was like, okay, I'm going to say hi. But I was literally like, when I turned around, I was like, of course, there's literally like thousands of people there. And we, we all look the same. I, oh my God, like, don't even get me started. But it is really fun. Um, Were you a fan of the Housewives? Like, but like, did you watch like Bravo before you were on it? Not really. Um, I had seen like an episode of the Beverly Hills reunion. I remember like my senior year of high school, but I really wasn't familiar with Real Housewives at all. I didn't really understand exactly what it was, Um, but I had seen like reality TV before. So I'd seen like shows where they had a reunion at the end. And so I understood like that concept, 
but Real Housewives is just like a whole other playing field. I didn't realize there's this whole like Bravo celebrity aspect. There's the whole like Bravo community and like, it's massive. Like it was beyond anything that I ever imagined. Did you have any like reaction? Like when Meredith came home and said, guess what? Or, I mean, I imagine you guys all sat down as a family and talked about this, but like, did you have a reaction of like, wanting to be part of this like not wanting her to be part of this um I wanted her to do whatever she wanted to do to make the best decision for herself so I honestly was very for her doing it just because I think that my mom is such an incredible inspirational businesswoman and she's dominating the space that she's in and I think that's really inspirational for a lot of people to see and for her to be such a previously private person and to let cameras into her life, I think would have been really cool for a lot of people to see. And overall, that's been the response from the viewers is they love seeing this life of, you know, the celebrity jewelry designer who all of a sudden decided to make her life entirely public. So I think it's really cool to see a strong woman who's built a brand for herself and show that all on reality TV. Totally. Were you shocked, like, because she was so private before? Yeah. I mean, I was actually, like, really astonished because if you had asked her to be on a reality TV show probably, like, any time before when it happened, um... I don't know if she would have done it. It was just a very like tumultuous, like random time in her life. I feel like with everything going on with her and my dad and, you know, just like they were fully separated at that point. So she was just like, whatever, might as well go on. Were you shocked at, you know, cause like you said, you watched reality TV before. Were you shocked at, like you said, like Housewives is such a different thing at like the level of drama that comes along with Housewives? Um, yeah, I mean, I was just, it's hard because like, you don't want to see it. And I hate to say it's hard because if it weren't for the show, I don't think my brand would be as successful as it is currently, or there's no way of really knowing that. And I received so much support and all these incredible messages all day long from all these viewers and stuff. Um, but something that's difficult about the show is seeing people attack my mom for things that I know aren't true and just like such far-fetched crazy things. Like I know how hard it was for her with everything going on with my grandpa passing away and to see that become weaponized and used against her was like really difficult because I knew how sensitive she was to that and it was just incomprehensible to me that someone could somehow figure out a way to spin it and make her be a villain when she's simply a daughter grieving the loss of her father right which is bigger than any reality show and it's like a real life thing that all of us go through or will go through yeah yeah I mean does that ever like how do you deal with like that and like the comments you know like do you go down that rabbit hole of like reading all the comments and because listen let's face it there's a lot of lovers and there's a lot of haters I mean you could fly in on a unicorn with rainbows 